Hi, I'm Brian Greenstone, the president of Pangea Software, and welcome to another episode of Pangea's behind the scenes videos. Now, it's been a very long time since the last video, and I do apologize for that, but for the last year and a half, we have been incredibly busy working on new stuff and also working on updates for a lot of our older games. We've released major updates to almost our entire iOS product line. We've added multiplayer networking support to Nanosaur 2, Chromag Rally, and Enigma. And most recently, we released updates that let you play our games wirelessly on your home HD TV via AirPlay on iOS 5. Bugdom 2, Automatic, Quarters, Nanosaur 2, Chromag Rally, and Enigma 2 are all now natively AirPlay compatible. This is a really cool feature that I encourage you to check out if you have an AirPlay compatible device. It's basically a technology that turns your iPad 2 or your iPhone 4S into a wireless game console system. It's very cool. But the most exciting thing that we've been working on this year is a new game, and that game is called Monkey Bongo. Monkey Bongo is the best game that Pangea has done for iOS to date, and we are really, really proud of it. So in Monkey Bongo, we've got five different areas, and each area has 10 different levels, so we have a total of 50 levels in the game. Now the basic idea in Monkey Bongo is that you're trying to feed bananas to the toucans. So all you gotta do is you tap on the monkey, you drag on him, and throw. And there we go. Now we're gonna skip ahead to level four here because I want to show you this. We also have coconuts, so tap on him, he's got 15 coconuts. And here, use coconuts to smash various things in the game. On this level, you smash through the crates. And once we've smashed through the crates, then we can have our other monkey pass his banana to that monkey. And then that monkey throws it to the toucan. Now the game is called Monkey Bongo after all. And so on a lot of the levels, you have bongos. You can tap the bongo, you can rotate it, because the idea here is you have to bounce things off of the bongo. So in order to get to this toucan, I'm gonna bounce. Whoops, uh oh, I hit him on the head. Now we also have vines in Monkey Bongo. And these are pretty cool, because what you can do with these is grab the monkey, and make him swing to another vine. You can swing him kind of clear off. All right, we've got this guy over here. Now this guy, he's got a torch. We haven't seen those yet. And you can swing another monkey over. You can knock those bananas off. So here's one of the arctic levels, and on this we have ice. And you can see there's a monkey on the right, and he has the bananas. The monkey on the left, he just has coconuts. But the monkey on the right, he's kind of trapped here in his little ice prison, so we have to break him out by throwing coconuts. Now one of the cool things about Monkey Bongo is that we've added a lot of personality to the game. So the, the monkeys have a lot of character, they say things, they do fun animations. Same with the, the toucans. And there's also just other little things we've put around. So on this level, for example. So in Monkey Bongo, we've got the desert, the jungle, the city, the zoo, and the Arctic levels. And they're all really cool, and they've all got their own unique stuff. Monkey Bongo is a universal binary app, and that means that the one app that you buy will run on any iOS device with iOS 4.3 or later. That includes iPhones, iPod Touches, and of course, iPads. Additionally, Monkey Bongo, like most of our other apps right now, natively supports AirPlay. So you can play it in full HD on your living room TV set. Very cool. This really is an addictive game, very unique, and I hope you'll try it out. It's available on the App Store today for an introductory price of just 99 cents. So please get it on sale while you can. And as always, please, please, please remember to write reviews for anything that you buy from us on the App Store. It is incredibly helpful to us when customers write reviews. So, 
What's next for Pangea Software? Well, we've got several project ideas on the table right now, and uh, we'll be narrowing it down pretty soon and getting started. I can't say anything beyond that right now, but stay tuned. I'll be back with another video when the game is ready.